something. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. This this morning's helping hero is a high school junior from Tyson's Corner, Virginia, uh, who's helping health healthcare workers get fed and restaurants stay afloat. So he's doing a lot of different things here. Joining us now, 17-year-old Arlem Nigam. How are you, Arlem? Hi. Okay, thank you. How are you? Nice right, to thank see you. Having me on. So, so tell you. us so, uh, a real. Tell us about the, this effort that you started here. Yeah. So basically, when all of this first happened, I heard about all these stories about how uh, frontline workers weren't able to do their own grocery or uh, cook, or because of the PPE shortages, they couldn't go out and buy their meals uh, during shifts because they couldn't leave the hospitals. And at the same time, we all know how much local restaurants are struggling right now. And so I realized that those problems were kind of intertwined because on the one hand, you have restaurants that have a need to serve meals. And on the other hand, you have hospitals that have this need to receive meals. And so those two sort of go hand in hand. So once I realized that, uh, I basically just started a fundraiser and started um, organizing meals to be delivered from those restaurants uh, to hospitals and COVID hotspots all around the country. And I also attach a little thank you note uh, with each meal. That so is great. so incredibly so thoughtful of you. Arul, um, you're creating a support network for healthcare workers as well. How are you doing that? Yeah, so basically I just uh, sort of wanted to create a uh, global platform where they could share their messages, whether that's messages of um, like hope and positivity, or a lot of them have been um, sort of educational, just uh, letting the community know more about things like social distancing, wearing a mask and other uh, practices like that. And I feel like when it's when this message comes directly from unbiased frontline workers, um, it's a lot more impactful, and people are more likely to adhere to those guidelines and like try to protect themselves and their families and the community at large. By the way, uh, Kelly, amazing. He is a high school junior. I know. He's incredible. Right? Yeah, An you really are. Yeah, you're my. Thank you're, you. uh, my I got to tell you, you're my son's age, and I'm my youngest son, and I'm noticing behind you, you two have similar taste in lightsabers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Arul, how many, how many meals have, um, have been delivered? Give us a, an idea of that. Yeah, so I'm actually really excited. By the end of this week, um, I'll have hit 1,500 meals delivered. And that covers wow. 30 different hospitals in 16 uh, states. And actually, as we speak right now, uh, meals are being prepared for deliveries today in uh, five different states. And we're adding more for next week. So impressive. You know, two months in, Arul, what would you say is your biggest takeaway from this entire experience? Uh, I guess it's just been really great to see uh, not only the resilience, but also the altruism um, of the American people. And it's been really motivating uh, and surprising, honestly, to learn that uh, even as just like a high school student, I'm able to make a big difference in my community and my country uh, by working with all these people who are um, all across the country who are uh, so selfless and so supportive from like our donors, obviously, uh, to everyone at the um, restaurants and of course, everyone um, at the hospitals as well. I'm so happy that um, our future is in your hands. You are uh, doing some great, <laughs> great work, and it's so Thank wonderful you. to have you on. We've partnered with Unilever to show our appreciation for people supporting those in need right now. Today and tomorrow, we're giving our hero of the day a donation towards their efforts. A rule we want to give you $5,000 from our partners, Unilever, toward your efforts. So thank you wow. very much for all you're doing, buddy. Thank you. That's so generous. And uh, I, I want you to let you know that's going to go a long way uh, to supporting our communities and also uh, putting some smiles behind those masks. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. And good luck with college searches and everything that's going on right now. I know you're going to go, uh, you're going to do big things. So thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Take care, buddy. Amazing. Come right? on. I mean, come on. What We're in cool good hands kid. with the future generation. We're in good hands. We are. Yes, we are. We are, for sure. And coming up next, uh, Darren Chris, right after this. Stay with us. The lights. Unilever, the makers of Dove, Hellman's, Vaseline, and more, has started a movement in response to the COVID-19 pandemic called United for America. As part of this initiative, Unilever is organizing a day of service, donating millions of products to Feeding America and Direct Relief.